Well, new tonight at 10, improving school safety. That is the top priority of a demand letter sent to Tucson Unified School District by teachers and staff. The district had about a month to respond, and now the deadline has passed. News for Tucson's Megan Spector joins us from Tucson High School with more on this. It feels really um, good for there to be um, finally a response from the district that feels like they're really listening. Brianne Butner has been a history teacher at Tucson High for five years, but is also a TUSD parent and one of the many pushing for change. The list of demands was created by Tucson High staff after this fight broke out on campus on September 13th. It led to the arrest of six students and one employee injured. From that incident came a list of 12 demands, including a smaller monitor to student ratio, new procedures for lockdowns, clear communication, mandatory training. The list goes on with one goal in mind. We want our school um, to feel safe. We want our staff members. We want our students and our community and our families to feel safe. Now district officials have responded, agreeing to implement changes. According to TUSD officials, schools have not made any changes to lockdown procedures, but staff have and will continue to receive additional training on emergency response and communication. Brianne tells me it's a step in the right direction, but there's still more work to be done. Tucson High is one of the oldest schools in Southern Arizona, one of the oldest school district. So it was built before ADA accommodations. Um, and so there's still a lot of um, areas of the school that are not equipped uh, to handle every kind of disability. Now teachers and staff are sending back to the district Monday a new letter to continue the conversation about school safety demands, working to keep prioritizing your kids' safety.